we're going to look at how to measure things here in Illustrator, specifically lines and shapes. I've got a circle out here. If I want to know the radius of it, I can actually go up to the transform panel and drop down more options to find the radius of the width and the ellipse height, as long as this was created with the ellipse tool. I can also pull open the transform window by going up to window down to transform. And that gives me all the options right away. If you don't see them, make sure you click show options right in here. So I've got these ellipse properties. Now the question is what happens when this ellipse is not a perfect circle? Well, if I click on this circle down here, I have an oval shape and it's tilted. The reason I rotated it is because now we still have the width and the height. That's specifically from one end to the other and then from the top to the bottom. But the width and the height here is of the bounding box, left to right, top to bottom, but not the rotated actual size of this shape. So if you want to find those properties, you can look at them in here. Also, if you wanted to lengthen this without skewing it, you can actually lengthen it here. Like if I wanted this to be 350 instead of 312 and not change the height, I unlink them here press tab and it's going to skew that out. Now you can also do it here by pulling on the left and right. However, it won't do it up in here. You see the width value is actually different than the width value here. So that's one of those interesting things. Same thing with the rectangle tool. Pretty easy. Height, width, height, width. They match. As soon as you rotate though, these don't match anymore, but you do still get to see the length and the height down here, left to right, even if it's a rotated shape. Now this is interesting. I have a line and it shows me the length of the line right here. That's easy because it matches the width because the line isn't rotated. But if the line were rotated like this, the width is now very short, 225 from this point to this point because the axis of this doesn't change, but it does still give me the line length right here. However, that's only with the line segment tool. If you use the pen tool, that length disappears because there's no shape properties with it. When you use the line segment tool, it's an actual line segment, the shape is there, but when you don't, you can't even see the length. Now, obviously this is perfect left to right. We see the width right here, but what if this was a rotated line and we weren't sure how long it was? Here's how to actually measure anything from one point to another in Illustrator. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I see both of those anchor points, got the direct selection tool selected right now. So I see an anchor point here and an anchor point here. There's actually a measure tool. You're gonna see it in the eyedropper tool dropdown. So we click and hold and grab the measure tool. Now, if I click on this first point, and hold and drag it to the second point, which the info window just covered up. So we're gonna move this right here. Same thing, click, hold and drag. It'll kind of lock into this other anchor point and we let go. In our info tab that should pop up if it doesn't go to window down to info, we actually see the length right here, which is under D, probably for distance, 544.086. You might remember this line up here was exactly that same width as well. So it locks it into the anchor point, which is very helpful. If you can get an exact measurement of any line using this tool from anchor point to anchor point, just like that. Now, the other cool thing, if you wanted to just measure something randomly out here, the measure tool works kind of like this line segment, click and hold from one spot to another. You can see all the distance and width and height measurements changing in the info tab, including the angle. So if you wanted to measure the angle of something, you've got that here too. So the measure tool can measure anything here in Illustrator and give you that info in the info tab. The one issue I found is if this line, for instance, was curved and I wanted to know the length of this from one point to the other, don't really have a good way of figuring that out. The measure tool doesn't work in any sort of curve. So we could measure from here to here, and maybe if you know some math and get all your angles and stuff, you can maybe figure it out, but that's kind of beyond me. I don't use math like that anymore. So I'm not really sure how to figure out the length of a curved line. If you know, drop a comment down below. I'll make sure to create a tutorial on it. That's how to measure lines and other objects here in Adobe Illustrator.